who is a person who is a proprietor what is actually his contribution if you go with the total asset minus current liability is capital employed so debt equity ratio is what debt equity ratio is equal to long term debt divided by shareholders equity Hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Grade College the Temple of Excellence welcome to all the students for the seventh session of analysis of financial statement now here in this session I'm going to discuss more about the ratio analysis and I'd like and I'll tell you the formulas and you people know that what exactly the formulas are here now how to derive with the formulas i gave you a trick called abhilash chandra tricks it is very easy for you people to remember and what is that i always do with my students is we go with a kind of a concept that is let's not remember because the more you remember chances are there to forget those concepts so better than that we need to go with understand the formulas we'll understand the formula and then we'll go with it and let's uh, start the session with the uh, next one that is a solvency ratio and formula that is solvency ratio now in the solvency ratio we have three types here that is one is debt equity ratio debt to capital employed ratio and the last one here we have is proprietary ratio now these formulas also i'll tell you how to remember but please do understand if we remember we will forget so i'm telling you just seeing to it we can derive the formulas and that is what i call that as act abhilash chandra tricks so let's understand what is the solvency ratio all about the first solvency ratio the first formula here i have given it to you people understand here debt equity ratio debt equity ratio now when you go with debt equity what should actually come that is always for what the long term sure that means equity ratio in the sense long term debt divided by now it is all about debt is done here we have equity now equity shareholders equity see understand the formula they are asking what debt equity ratio that means you should have something called debt you should have something called equity that is what the formula should contain right in the numerator you will be writing the debt in the denominator you will be writing the equity that is how you will remember the formula now long term debentures or the debt divided by the shareholders equity if you go with it that is your formula now i've given here something called the note many of the students they were like they were asking me sir how to remember the formula so i'm telling you don't remember understand the formula now debt equity ratio in the sense for the long term what exactly the ratio would be now here the long term debt is what debenture plus debenture with interest say they would have given the question paper 7% 8% all those things you are supposed to add plus you need to go with the long term whatever is the long term debentures which we have taken as a company all those things you are supposed to go with this long term debt second is so what is the shareholder equity if you ask me understand the shareholder equity we have share capital reserves profit and loss account and if you have any kind of a preliminary expenses you need to subtract that so those expenses you subtracted apart from that you will have in your question what the share capital all the first entry in the liabilities that is the share capital in the sense shareholders fund you have reserves and surplus all these you are supposed to add even profit and loss account is also what it is the shareholders equity at the last so this is what you are supposed to remember the first one is what debt equity ratio so debt equity ratio debt will come in the numerator next equity will come in the denominator what type of debt long term debt that is what you are supposed to go here divided by equity of whom the shareholders equity or shareholders fund is what you can call that has next we have is proprietary ratio no proprietor who is a proprietor understand proprietary ratio now here when you go with it the combination is simple shareholder fund divided by now proprietor in the sense what the capital employed capital employed or it is also called as the net asset it is what net asset that means total asset minus current liability that is what the formula is net asset so what is the shareholder fund the same way you have equity you have preference share you have debenture you have reserves you have profit and loss account 
All those are what shareholder fund. Next is capital employed means what total asset minus liability. But what type of a liability? All are current liability. Which one? Current liability will not minus total asset minus total liability. Don't do that. That's why I have given a space here. It is only what current liability. If you subtract total asset minus total liability, you get zero. So don't do that. It's always what total asset minus current liability. The liabilities which we are supposed to pay now very fast within one year. Those liabilities you are supposed to subtract. And that is called capital employed. Capital employed, if you understand these things, it is very easy for you people to remember that. Now, how will you actually remember this proprietorship ratio? Proprietor. Who is the person who is a proprietor? What is actually his contribution if you go with it? The shareholders fund divided by the total assets minus current liability. If you go with it, you will get proprietor ratio. Next one, let's go with it. That is, we have debt to capital employed ratio. Debt to capital employed. Now, capital employed, we got to know. Now, how to find that debt to capital employed ratio is, is equal to, again, debt is there. Go for the numerator. Now, capital employees that make it a denominator. They see, in the formula itself, we have the answer. What is that they are asking the question? Debt to capital employed. That means what? Say, example, suppose mushroom manchuri you have asked in the hotel. Now, will they give you manchuri mushroom? Definitely no. It is mushroom manchuri only, right? Now, if you ask mushroom manchuri, will they give you palak paneer? Definitely no, right? The reason is why what you have asked, they should give you the same. So understand, mushroom manchuri. So what should be in the answer only? Also mushroom manchuri. So here, debt is there or long term debt. Capital employed is there that you put it in the denominator. Capital employed. So this is what the formula of solvency ratio is. So just a quick recall, what is that we have done for you people? Now we went with three formulas, debt equity ratio. Now again, mushroom manchuri. So here also we got what? The mushroom here, manchuri, same, shareholders. Next, proprietor ratio. Now proprietor is who the person is. How will you calculate his contribution? Shareholder fund divided by capital employed. Capital employed is also called net assets. And how is that you will derive net assets? Net assets is equal to, even capital employed is this, net asset is also these things. So this is how you people will go with. Next one is what? Debt to capital employed. Now debt to capital employed means again, debt long term. Capital employed, total assets minus current liabilities. Now let's see the problem here. Now I have taken a problem here. What exactly the problem is? First we will know that what is that we need to find, okay? The minute you see the tables here, there are n number of students I have seen. The minute they say the tables and everything, they feel that I shouldn't work on this. This is very difficult. I don't know what is balance sheet. I don't know what is p and account. I don't know anything. So let me skip this. Don't do that. I only know three formulas. I can actually derive those three formulas. If they give in the question paper only, say example, from the following information, calculate debt equity ratio. Now, how will you go with this debt equity ratio? The formula now debt equity ratio is equal to. Sir, I don't know the formula if you tell me. I just told you mushroom manchuri, same. Debt is there, put it in the numerator. Debt in the sense what? Long term. Long term debt. Divided by equities are equity where it will come shareholders fund. So divided by shareholders fund. Done. This is what the Abhilash Chandra tricks is all about. Done. Let's go with it. Next is proprietor ratio. Sir, proprietor, sir. Shareholder fund is the denominator. In proprietor, what happens? Shareholder will come in the numerator. Now again, proprietor ratio is equal to. Now you go with this. Shareholder, shareholder fund divided by, now proprietor, where exactly he'll go? Capital employed, capital employed. So what is capital employed? Total assets minus, total asset minus what? 
Is it total liability or current liability? Current liability. Total asset minus current liability is capital employed. Done. Next is debt to capital employment. Debt to capital employment is equal to. Now again I told you mushroom manchuri same kind. Debt is there. Capital employed is there. Now debt means what? Put it numerator here. Put it denominator is equal to. Now numerator long term. Long term debt divided by your capital employed same way here also you will go with capital employed capital employed done now what is capital employed total asset minus your current liabilities done so we, we have just got it see we don't memorize it we should never memorize the more you memorize you will forget it it's the same kind of a thing right so let's uh, calculate this particulars now note number many times people used to actually go with schedules now they have something called note number just uh, a small column you can uh, draw no issues next equity and liability what has happened is we have shareholders fund shareholders fund share capital reserves and surplus now there are two items which are the shareholders fund see here shareholders fund here we have shareholders fund here we have what is that we should do 4 lakh plus 1 lakh is 5 lakh so shareholder fund how much is it 5 lakh rupees done now here you will put 5 lakh rupees here you will put 5 lakh rupees done next is what non current uh, that is non current liabilities we have long term borrowing that is debt that is your debt how much is it 1 lakh 50 thousand so long term debt wherever you have long term debt what is that you will put 1 lakh 50 thousand you will actually put so the first formula debt equity ratio is equal to long term debt divided by shareholders fund so how is that i'll go with let's see so debt equity ratio is what debt equity ratio is equal to long term debt divided by shareholders equity what is that we should do the note we already have so let's go with the problem debt equity ratio is equal to now you people should tell me now debt will come in the numerator so long term debt divided by now equity will come here that means equity in the sense shareholder fund shareholder fund is equal to now tell me what is the long term debentures here which we have you see debentures we have debenture with interest long terms now here which is that the long term borrowing the minute the long term borrowing apart from that anything else is there no so we have 150000 has our long term borrowing only so we'll write here 150000 divided by now shareholders fund just check in the question shareholders fund shareholders fund here it is there are two one and two how much is it 4 lakh plus 1 lakh is 5 lakh. So I'll write here how much 5 lakh. 5 lakh. That is equal to. Now take your calci now. Now we have 1 lakh 50,000 divided by 5 lakh is equal to 0 0.3. Now the base is always 1. 0 0.3 divided by 1 because it is all ratio isn't it so we are supposed to represent that as ratio it is also called as 30 percent if you convert into percentage it is 30 percent if you go with the ratios that is is equal to 0 0.3 is to 1 this is what your debt equity ratio debt equity ratio so i'm done with my first thing very easy this is how you people need to get yourself trained. This is how you people need to go with. See, always have confidence that I can remember as well as I can understand and I can go for it. Let's go with the second one. The second one they have asked is proprietor ratio. How much? Proprietor ratio. Now, what is this proprietor ratio? Shareholder fund. So, what is the shareholder fund? 5 lakh rupees. Now, capital employed or net assets. Net asset means what? Total asset minus current liability. So let's uh, check the formula here. I told you about shareholder fund divided by capital employed. Now example, uh, let's go with the same thing here. Shareholder fund, what all you are supposed to uh, go with? That is equity, preference, debenture, reserves, profit and loss accounts. So let's check the question here. The question here is what we have. Uh, shareholders fund is that? Shareholder fund means what? I have only told you here the shareholder fund is share capital and reserve that is 
4 plus 1 is 5 lakh. So we'll write here 5 lakh. So here the question is pro proprietor ratio. Now we'll write proprietor ratio is equal to. Now what is the formula of proprietor ratio? Now proprietor is there. Shareholders fund. Shareholders fund divided by capital employed. What is it? Capital employed. Or it is called net assets. Net assets. Now, what is that? Shareholders fund is how much is equal to 5 lakh is what we have got earlier divided by. Now, net sales means what? Net sales. I'll give you here the hint. Net sales is equal to total assets minus current liabilities. So, what is your total assets here? Now, total assets, if you go with it here, you have your total assets. Please understand. Asset side, you have total asset is how much? 7 lakh. What is your current liability? Current liability is 50,000. That means your net uh, asset is equal to your total asset minus current liability. So is equal to 7 lakh minus current liability is how much? Yours 50,000. That is 50,000. So here 7 lakh minus 50,000 is how much? That is your 6 lakh 50,000 rupees so write rupees properly done so i'll write here how much six lakh fifty thousand do we have some other uh, formulas for it i'll tell you capital employed even we have one more formula capital employed is equal to capital employed is equal to now understand here we have something called the shareholder fund that is five lakh plus the debentures that is long borrowings if you go with it that we call it as same see 1 lakh 50 thousand plus y lakh is how much 6 lakh 50 thousand here also we get the same answer that means here we have shf plus your borrowings debenture borrowings so again the same thing 6 lakh 50 thousand so take your calci now now we have 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so 50 divided by 65 50 divided by 65 is equal to 0 0.76 is equal to 0 0.76 divided by 1 is equal to 0 0.76 is to 1. This is our proprietor ratio. Let's go with the next one here. So what exactly the question is asking us? Now all these things are done proprietor. Now we have what? Debt to capital employed ratio. What is the formula of debt to capital employed ratio again? Mushroom Manchuri is what you are supposed to go. Debt is there. So long term. Now debt to capital employed divided by capital employed. That is net assets. So we have long term debt divided by capital employed. So long term debt. How exactly we got it? That is the long term debt. Let's go with this. Debt to capital employed ratio is equal to. Now we have debt in the sense. This is the numerator. Debt is equal to long term debt divided by capital employed. Capital employed or it is called net assets. Now long term debt we know that 1,50,000 divided by capital uh, employed we have actually calculated net asset is equal to what is it? Your total asset minus current liability total asset was 7 lakh minus 50,000 is 6 lakh 50,000 so we'll write here 6 lakh 50,000 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so 15 by 65 so we'll write here 15 divided by 65 is equal to 0 0.23 0 0.23 divided by 1 see the base is always 1 so is equal to 0 0.23 is to 1 so this is what we are supposed to calculate. Let's go with the next problem. The next problem is a problem for you people, which is a very, very simple problem. I have given all the particulars here itself. Direct answers I have given here. What is that you should do is you need to see the formulas. You need to uh, practice once again and then give me the answers of calculate debt equity ratio and uh, debt to capital employed ratio. Only two you are supposed to do it and uh, put it in the comment box. And any doubt you have regarding this, please do call me. I'm always there to help you. Thank you so much. I'll see you when I see you.